You know, Axe is definitely good here to have versus the Omni Knight versus the Juggernaut. But now it's a bit harder for General, I think. Oh, General's the stolen. MP, top lane. Oh, what a nice healer. That's probably first battle. Got that him was... on top. Kind of left was... alone. The Tusk was off lane for a little bit. Where well, he should have just kept running, uh, trying to lift. Not sure it would result in a kill. Hoppy got caught by a taunt. This is how Spawn Tanner is coming in. He doesn't have mana for Shuriken, so it might be a bit of oh, okay. Yeah, shop actually. Yeah. There's a there's an ultimate here on General, and he may get a second chop here. Here comes the Tusk. In response, there is no Walrus Punch, though. General still alive for right now. Has enough mana, but will, won't get it out before the shards come out. Now the dust is out. On to Sonico. They'll kill him off and then spin onto Biver. Should be a three kill for Navi. I think Midwan has this one in the bag, right? No Shrine with oh. the Wave of Terror. They got him. Tries to go for kills. Oh, MP or here comes Secret Assassin. General with the call onto the Juggernaut. There's a snowball here to give him a little bit of extra time. Puppy's gonna let it loose oh. with the ultimate. An RP lands on absolutely everybody. And they're gonna start getting torn through by Pycat, but still not dead just yet. Now the ultimate stolen by Biver is gonna turn things around. Midwan gets an Omni Slash. And we'll make it an even three for three. Oh, but Pycat. Guards, oh, good the wall, that is not tight, and Pycat should still have a way out, but they're gonna ignore him for right now and go for Sonico instead. Purification was stolen by the Rubik. Then we'll give him a couple of seconds of extra time, but definitely not enough, and no, now the swap back onto the bear, lift up onto the Ventral Spirit. This time Omnite is here, and we can already see it's giving them so much extra juice. MP will tank the Ursa like a boss here, and they do actually see the Tusk come in because he's tracked up still, and they will also see Puppy on the incoming. This CM, uh, maybe oh, a little yeah, too no, bold, though, does... Cancel the Blink Dagger, so Axe's Call kind of whipped. The ultimate from Puppy will do kind of uh, just drive him away, I suppose. Shuriken bouncing through. Keizu gets a heal onto Yapsor. RP oh, is God. pump faked once, but it'll be completely whiffed by Dendi. Where's the damage here from Secret? They're looking at General first. This Axe is a tough kill, yet they're going to try it through the Call. The armor is going to hold for General for right now. MP does have a swap back. Nova is there. General going to try to stick up. Keizu just getting in there with the D-Gen aura will be a kill. Dendi decided to... Oh, He's standing Cat. on a war though, no, uh, General. This is not the greatest place to be. Oh, jump in. Pycat's gonna find Puppy. Purification is there, plus the mechanism. They keep him alive for right now, but Pycat is gonna say no to that. He's gonna pop his ultimate. They also catch Ventral Spirit in the call. The chop her head off. Immediately two down, and Yapsor's not in a great spot either. Trying to run away, but the clap is there. And the skewer back. You're not going anywhere. He's gonna try to snowball just to buy time. And Yapsor is going to be hit by his own shards, stolen by Biver. And that'll be a quick three kill for Navi, a real just slaughter. Secret have no response to. This is gonna be a tower down. Kinda like I talked about in the drop. Secret so connected to fire. Lost, but they didn't go with team fight hero. They went this bench. Oh, there's actually heroes close to each other. It's gonna be a dead puppy. Wap back onto general. They'll lose puppy in the meantime. MP trying to go for this act, but the purification actually misses. Still the snowball is there, plus the walrus punch and shards, which I will capture Biver. Let MP let go to work on that Rubik, but Ursa, he wants the tusk. He'll take him down. In exchange for that Rubik MP, Dendi Pycat, Sonico versus Keizu Midwan MP. They're going to purify the Venture Spirit one more time. Deciding to pick a fight in the Shrine is kind of bold, especially when the buyback comes in from the Axe. He'll jump in, get the call onto the Venture Spirit. Repel is there, not going to help her all that much, especially when the RP comes in. That'll cost Keizu his life. MP not doing too hot either. Surrounded is going to lose his head for the second time in as many minutes. This is where their sustain comes into play with their siege power, though they do have to worry about getting jumped like this. Midwan already down to half HP. General's gonna get purged up, so we can't jump in just yet, although we will find it. They will get into a snowball, except for Puppy, left behind by his allies. Poor CM. They get the Walrus Punch onto the Axe, starting to drop him low, but not quite low enough. Skewer onto Yapsor, he's in the middle of the fight. Spin is being stolen by Biver, doing a lot of return damage. Midwan now, in his own spin, onto everyone, is being kept alive by Keizu. MP still at full HP, and Navi are crumbling. So Nico gonna be chopped down last. And that'll be a four for two exchange as Midwan wants it five. And with Biver still on the spin, Midwan still on his tail. Getting kind of body blocked by his illusion, but he has a blink dagger. He has one more defusal blade charge, and that should be just enough. Wave is there. They throw him away from Biver, but a blink in. Oh, a crit. Okay. Gets Midwan a triple kill, and Navi get wiped. Midwan should be fine here, and yes, he will survive. Mid MP will tank the tower will be a full five on five. They may not expect all these Navi heroes here. Smoke a break, MP. Gonna wave in, will only clip onto Dendi. Still the swap is there onto Biver. And he will be caught by the shards. MP will work him down a little. Pycat's gonna come right in. The response is immediate. As the purification is gonna land onto MP, Snowball's there, but he actually gets a little bit of distance away with the Force Staff. That'll mean he's isolated. Mid one lands on the one. high ground. He's gonna jump down with the Omni Slash. Luckily for him, he will still have some game in this fight. Almost oh, gets clipped Force again. Keizu, though, with the Shiva's guard onto General in the wall off with the shards. It's gonna keep Pycat in place. So much ice on this Ursa, and he will fall. 
General isolated off to the side. Snowball back in from Yapsor. Purified shards. General, very, very tanky, and with the blade mail, trying to turn some damage to mid -wall, but the healing ward is going to trump that every single day. Now jumping forward, looking for Dendi. RP is going to land onto a couple heroes. Pycat's going to jump in, but the sigil overhead means that Pycat's doing no damage at all. Kazu's going to purify himself. He'll be just fine. Snowball in. Looking for Dendi as Pycat and mid one go one on one. General's going to interrupt that, making the 2v1, but still mid one. Not done yet. Looking for Pycat with the spin. He's going to try to get the kill and then disengage. It looks like he'll be do doing just that as they will isolate General and Suniko both. These two heroes don't have that much damage. Mid one blinks to dodge the call. Gets Keizu a double kill, and now they're off to the south. Looking for Suniko, trying to teleport out. Not going to happen. Triple kill for Keizu. And Navi lose so much there. That is an insane win for Secret. Well, mid one has his eyes on the mid racks. He will take it down, and Navi, it, it does seem like that was, uh, I mean, not necessarily like a straight up game winning play. Tusk has another tool to help them defensively the Walrus Kick. I've seen this only once in a game that I've casted, and oh, it's gonna not help MP, is it? They're gonna jump him into the snowball, jump into the back line for the Juggernaut, full Omni Slash onto General. We'll bounce over to Sneeko a little bit as mid one is kind of separated from his allies. Still looking for General, should get the kill. Freezing Field goes off onto the Magnus, gets the skewer back onto Keizu. Where's the backup here? Mid one is going to arrive really quickly onto Dendi. Grab a triple for the team, and Pie Cat is off, fighting up Yapsor and MP. Not going to win that exchange and secret. Just smash Navi in two consecutive and just like that, the game is over. Four stacks of your quills and your Legion snot out there. Commander. Pick up in that Legion commander. And so far, they've had zero interaction with that CM. Puppy now going to get hit with the Fire Blast and the Frostbite. It is layered a little bit, but it still will be enough to get them first well blood. Oh, that's a good ward from secret. Might save him his life. Pie Cat does have a level 2 Omni Slash, but Puppy's going to split with MP, but oh. still will fall. And with a crit, we'll get two. Oh my god, level 2 Omni Slash does a lot of damage, apparently. Echo Slam's gonna completely whiff up against the Blade Fury as well. Keizu doesn't really have that much more game up against the Juggernaut. Decides to kill off the Healing Ward instead. Now the jump in with the Taunt and the Duel onto the Rubik. We'll get them a clutch win as Pycat comes in for a third. MP is coming in here. Gonna drop an Observer Ward mid one. Gotta watch out for the Duel. Loses a lot of his fire ability if that's gonna happen. Oh, oh the skewer back onto the train protector. They find him. Echo Slam only lands onto the Ogre Magi. That's not good enough. They absorb the Omni Slash pretty good, but now Freezing Field dropped right in the middle. Biver's gonna get a full load off onto mid one, but he's a Bristleback. He just doesn't care. He's gonna get dueled up finally. Can they actually kill off this Bristleback? They won't be able to. With the RP, they finally will. In the meantime, MP and Keizu, they take down the Juggernaut, but that's just his first life. Right with the bristle back down means that they can't really fight anymore. MP gonna get a really nice sunder off. Now gonna challenge Pycat with a reflection, but still takes a lot of magical damage from oh, that spin. Yapsor gonna return fire with a stolen Omni Slash. Now a stolen spin. Yapsor showing up to the fight. Spin now onto Dendi, continuing the damage train as Yapsor is gonna get a Fade Bolt kill. Keizu has another Fissure soon. MP is still very healthy somehow in this fight, and they're looking for Suneko. They caught a glimpse of him. Jump forward, looking for the stuns. Fissure is going to stun and wall perfectly onto Suneko and Secret. They turn it around because of all heroes. The Rubik decides that this is going to be the fight. Fights and can only really manage when he had an Aegis. Oh, yeah, Absor oh. tries to make a cute play onto Suneko, gets Omni Slash, and obviously can't steal that one. They're still going to show up, try to drive a couple heroes away. Dendi with the blink RP skewer at the ready is going to find, oh. unfortunately, only the Shaker, who does not have his ultimate, so they're going to lose him. Not a huge loss there from Secret as far as continuing the fight, but they will not look to do so. Navi just going to find a couple of free picks. They do not want to fight Secret, but Secret are forcing it right now. This could be a pretty good timing. Oh, the smoke is going to be blown oh. mostly on General. They'll jump in towards Dendi instead, stealing power, and Dendi's going to be focused down. General is going to pick a fight with MP. Bad idea, dude. Suniko obviously showing up to help out, and now is going to regret his decision as well. MP feasts to get a double kill. Icat going to spin, just trying to soften up MP. New Fire Blast Bristleback is going to show his back now to General, lift him up just to try to disengage. It looks like that should be successful, though General has another blink right now. Diving in that far will be awfully risky. He is still invisible right now. I don't think he's spotted by anyone until he jumps in. Looking for MP, but the man style is going to get MP a little bit distance. Still overwhelming odds is there. Sunder is going to be casting out. General has to turn tail and run. Off in the back mid one is distracting a full three heroes. He's just driving them away, forcing them to try to attack him, daring them to do so, but they're not going to take that bait. Yapsor will fall as Pycat is going to get his Omni Slash off. Now picking a fight with MP. Jumping from Dendi. RP completely off the mark. MP already used the Sunder, though. Where is his backup? Hurricane Pike another five seconds, but he will get nuked down. And Secret are defending, they're smoked up as well. 
Oh no, they asked to eat this, but I... Legion Commander in the area, jumps in for the duel, onto the Bristleback. How much damage can they actually do? It seems like an irrelevant amount, he's just not dying. Although finally will go down, we'll get Sunder by MP. Still taking a lot of DPS here with the Abyssal Blade. We'll survive, oh, Dendi whiffs another RP! No, Dendi, why? Off in the back, they will isolate and kill off Puppy, but now the chase is on. Secret gonna jump forward, Fissure onto two. Not gonna do all that much for Keizu, who's kinda stuck in the trees. They're gonna instead try to go for the Magnus, lift him up in the reflection, and with the right clicks from MP, we'll take him down. Like the hero with the most locked time in the game, more or less. Uh, Pika is destroying this road right now. Mid one is gonna show himself off. He doesn't have to worry about that duel. We'll show his back right now. There's the duel and the Omni Slash still bouncing through. Once again, the Sunder is there to get him a little bit extra HP, but he's still taking so much damage. Where's the help here for mid one? MP is gonna get up onto the hill. They'll overgrowth fail it. There's the RP that we needed. Dendi comes in huge with an RP onto three. We'll kill all three of those heroes. And the fourth, Keizu was taken care of by general. I assume duel win? No, not quite, but. Dendi was uh, was saving all those RPs for that one right there, and now PyCat is just going to blow up the mid lane, and oh no, what are you doing here, Rubik? Had a TP scroll, decided to blink over the trees, and now hit with the Ignite, silenced. He is fairly screwed here, and he's going to make it a full five-man wipe for Na'Vi. This might just be the game. No one has five at. He's way too farmed with the Empower, with the steroids, that even if mid one walks into it right now, no one cares. Just focus down the Ancient, and they're going to claim a win. Wow. What a finish! That ended in one RP and then game over. Navi just gonna jam pick that Terra Blade. Starting items is the win. Oh, General, General. though. He Three year beating down on him. It's a little fail, so. Oh, puppy, this is some weird stuff going on. Oh, just baiting perhaps. MP Yapsor right around the corner, down to half HP immediately on the SF, but the reinforcements coming in. It's Clockwork right on top of MP, with the battery assault, it's gonna be slowly taking him down, but MP still going after Dendi, is gonna get the kill. And will pop right back up. He has to go into the back as Soneko is driving away Yapsor. And Puppy both now MP caught in a cage against Pycat. Mid one's gonna make his arrival, which usually is gonna mark a really nice win for Secret, but he doesn't actually have that much damage, so mid one is just gonna try to drive away General, get a cheesy kill perhaps, one more shot, not gonna reach it, but Yapsor still surged up, is gonna lift up Pycat, lots of burst damage to the Fade Bolt, is gonna get the kill on Pycat, and now Secret are gonna call it quits, but a four staff slides him to safety once again, and from mid one, looking for Seiko, not oh, oh he spins off the deny! What a freaking baller this mid one! Potentially gonna get out of control. MP, oh, here comes the Wraith Fire Blast, plus 40 into the CM. And he's gonna do a lot of damage, take a lot himself. Dendi in general just focusing him down. Now here comes the Requiem of Souls, straight on top of the Wraith King. He's not dying as quickly now, though. He will try to slip away into the jungle. Yapsor stole the Requiem. And will return to full force into the Terror Blade. Now his damage cut in half. He will get a nice thunder off onto Keizu, but still taking so much damage from the Illusions mid one as well. Focusing him down will drop. MP is somehow still alive. Although Dendi with the jump in and the raise will kill him off. Mid one, right on top of the Shadow Fiend now. Yapsor Puppy, both looking for it. Snakeo's going to arrive, but it is just a bounty hunter. Mid one cannot be stopped. Dendi, is he still tracked up? Did they steal it again? It seems like they did. And now they're gonna see the bounty hunter as well. Drag him right back in. Mid one's at legitimately full HP. Triple kill for the Templar Assassin and for Secret. One to jump in on. He's been initiating for Secret every single time. Puppy is spotted up to the north. He does have a gem, but there's no uh, vision on the high ground here for the Dire. Can't see anything inside. MP's once again gonna suicide dive in. We'll get torn apart by Pycat. That's gonna be his first life. I don't know what he can do with the second one. Mid one, we'll focus down the clockwork. Four staff out, though Pycat will try to give chase. Vacuum back onto three. Overgrowth, Puppy canceled it actually. Thinking twice about going for that play. It looked like it was gonna be pretty good. Sunder, double Sunder awesome. stolen actually. As Yapsor is gonna get MP back up to full HP. But in the end, it will be Puppy. Isolated up to the north, will drop, giving the gem back towards Navi and Pycat. Will hold everyone else back. Although, jumping back in, Pycat does not have another Sunder. Needs some help right now. Four staff sliding him all over the place, but it won't save him. He's down, though he does have a buyback. Will immediately expend it. Dendi's the one who Secret have to focus if they can get their claws onto him, but they can't. Still, they're going to reinitiate back in. Oh, jeez, these guys have to calm down. MP will die. Not for real. It's another reincarnation. And now Reflection stolen by Yapsor. A huge pickup oh, up against a Shadow Fiend and a Terror Blade Bolt. They'll try to go for Dendi. He doesn't have a buyback. He doesn't have allies. He's down for 110. And now the defense has shattered. Secret have just won this game. Impressive steals from Yapsor. He... Oh my god. Are you serious? I mean, I was impressed by the fact that he had an Aghanim Scepter by game end. He has a Shiva's Guard as well. 
Are you kidding me? Rubik's not supposed to have that much money.